advice. You never know if it could change your life. Take a chance, you need the wrong or right. You okay, never know speaking of um, dice. D and D stuff that we were touching on over the last. You don't have to perfectly segue from every section to the next batch. We weren't. We, we just if, jump if right. I don't, if I don't do that, Rob, you're gonna fire me and find someone else. <laughs> it's my job. Uh, okay, <laughs> Matt, Matt's Matt's chief segue officer. That that's right. It it is on my resume. Uh, I was looking at the survey done last year on D and D Beyond on character alignment. We we're talking about how alignments kind of suck. And it's like, uh, if you count chaotic good, neutral good, and uh, uh, chaotic neutral, you have like 60% of all player characters made on D&D Beyond. Yeah, we didn't talk about this. And again, this is just what's on D&D Beyond, so take it with a grain of salt. But I was shocked that chaotic neutral was the almost the highest. I mean, it's, I'm not it's, shocked at all. I I guess I, I I expect it better from you all to be honest. I, uh, <laughs> I think if you give players this weird grid, um, th- that more and more people are familiar with because of memes, right? Um, yeah, and and you say, uh, uh, pick one of these. I think they're gonna pick the one that says, "This is not gonna restrict how I play the game." Mm, is what I, I think sense. the new players' approach is. And is one of the reasons alignment sucks, right? It's like. I want to play the game. I maybe I don't know how or what it's going to be like. Uh, I'm going to pick the one that uh, lets me play, right? Well, that doesn't tell me what to do. That's Matt's charitable interpretation, and I think that's very generous, Matt. I look at this and I say, I see that everyone looks at their alignment chart and says, "Well, I'm going to become the Joker," and they and they <laughs> pick they pick chaotic neutral. That's that's what this says to me. But but maybe Matt's correct that this is the least restrict- restrictive alignment. You think um, alignments are funny? I do, and I'm tired of <laughs> pretending <laughs> they're not. <laughs> um, doesn't surprise me that Chaotic Good is the, the top alignment. Chaotic Good is yeah. far and away the best hero alignment, it's clear. Also, all of the good alignments, in my opinion, play the same, and you can you can and this is the like obvious weakness of the the alignment system, but you can be like Batman is any of the, like he can be chaotic good. He can be neutral good. He can be lawful good. Superman could be any of these, depending on how you want to define, um, you know, Batman could be a lawful vol cell. He can be a chaotic <laughs> incel. He can be neutral, but does not eat pussy. <laughs> it really, it really, the thing is it's all open to interpretation is what we're saying. And, uh, yeah, alignment suck. L- alignment, alignment is like fun, kind of to like meme about. It's not a really a good way to structure your characters. And I, we never talk about this. But like in my games, I never ask what anyone's alignment is. I never check their alignments. I never make them do anything based on their alignment. You know, it's just I. What's the? What's I the don't. Point? I don't ask either. But I do ask all my players if they think Batman goes down. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, I, I also do. give my own answer, which is uh, yes, but he's not very good at it. As Matt and I have already discussed, uh, <laughs> I, I think this is bullshit. Batman is clearly Valsell. He does not eat pussy. He does not have sex. Uh, he is, you know, he, he he maintains his vital essence so that he can yeah, fight. Yeah, he, he learned guys. that, yeah, from the uh, League of Shadows. That's I right. Think. Do you, do you yeah. think anybody in the League of Shadows fucks? Absolutely not. Uh, it's I mean Ra's al so Ghul powerful? has Talia Al Ghul like I mean you know but not anymore not anymore anyway um yeah Alim- Damian alignment is... Wayne we don't he was probably cloned I guess yeah is what you're saying uh now here's a here's a radical thing that ties and neatly segues everything ties everything back together again because it's all got to have a common theme is that um I love the Magic the Gathering color wheel I I don't like too much about playing Magic the Gathering, but I love this idea of the color wheel. I think it's pretty I do like and the color fun wheel. It, it and fits stupid and great together. to think about. Everything has synergies and oppositions. It's it's neat. I like it. I think the Magic the Gathering color wheel would be better for uh, players to pick from than alignment at character creation. Mm. Interesting. You know, there, there's red, blue, black, green, white. They all 
uh, talk about your approach to the world, to solve solving problems, right? Red is all about action, aggression, freedom, uh, possibility. White is about uh, stability, kinship. Like, what are your values and how do you solve a problem is a much more interesting question to ask uh, than uh, alignment, in my opinion. And I think we should ask players what color they are. That's interesting. I like that. I'm open to all sorts, like anything but alignment, you know, is a is a good way to approach. Ugh. Be done with alignment. Like, like Rob, I think is, um, Rob, I think you're like red green. <laughs> I, I can work with that. I like red green. You like action over inaction and, uh, given a choice between going with the flow and causing trouble, you will go with the flow. That is an accurate, that is how I would align myself as well. This reminds me, well, I, I keep a detailed spreadsheet of all my friends and acquaintances where I where I list out their colors. It's a very normal <laughs> Matt, thing. Matt, I Matt do. what would you be? I, I have my suspicions, but what, what, how would you mm. define yourself? I think it's it's harder to define yourself, mm. um, but I would probably go with blue or blue black um, in that I will seek knowledge is the action I will take and uh, I will I will probably fuck you over at some point you'll be mad at me <laughs> I like that I think that's good I saw this before a long time ago but um I I think we should be open to radically different ways of determining character behavior alignment um you know aside, you know the obvious answer is just role play but if you want yeah. to sort of like figure out your motivations, you want I, a I think, schema. Yeah, I, I think anything is better than the the the, the grid, the nine box. Stop grid. asking what alignment Batman is and ask what uh what color is Batman? Uh, what what would you say Batman is? Batman. Well, it depends on who's Batman, Matt. This is the, the okay. Is it a Frank uh, Miller Batman? Is it is it um you know? Is let's it Adam just say West the Batman? Christopher. Christopher Nolan Batman. Christopher Nolan Batman is is red black. Hmm. Um, okay. Yeah. I would I would say he's definitely black. I would go maybe white black, right? Uh, he's 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 a he's a little bit of a fascist Batman. He is a right? fascist Batman. With no, all that's the, right. No, the you're right. Spying. I think you're right. White, white but he's black definitely here. ruthless. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, that's right. Like Adam West is definitely like uh, maybe like red white. Or something, mm, mm -hmm. uh, or maybe just white. I don't know. He's just a friendly, nice guy. He is the friendly bat. He's a very friendly bat. 